Hey, home care superheroes of Homewell. Are you ready for an awesome adventure? Well, I hope so, because we're about to have one. <laughs> so let me just start by saying, if there's one thing that every agency owner out there knows right now, dealing with the crazy pace of change in your life, from pandemic pandemonium, changing the way that we work and live and connect to our caregivers, our staff, our referral sources, our clients and their families, and the quest to find and retain great talent for our team and making sure that our caregiver bench is really, really strong and all the plates we have to spin every single day in our own lives, right? Being agency owners and parents and in a lot of cases, teachers full time, 24 seven under one roof. But honestly, since the day you opened the doors of your agency, you've probably never really had the same day twice. The only thing we know for sure right now is that something's about to change, right? Because change is the only thing that's gonna stay the same in our lives right now. It's how we respond to change that dictates our success. So how do we as leaders build and lead the kind of teams that adapt, overcome, and win as one? When the goals are huge, the stakes are high, and change is the only thing that stays the same. Well, I wanna show all this leadership and team building goodness with you today in the most fun way that I can. And that's using some examples and stories from my super silly, totally ludicrous sport of adventure racing. Now, I know most of you haven't heard of adventure racing before. Uh, and if you think you've heard of it, you might be thinking of the amazing race. <laughs> so I'll give you the scoop. It's a sport that was invented by a crazy Frenchman and popularized around the world by a character named Mark Burnett, who started Survivor. And it involves small teams of men and women. You have to have one man and one woman on each four or five person team, depending on the rules. And the race director will ask you to meet them in the most remote place they can find on earth. And they hand each team a set of maps and road rules. And the next morning, they say, ready, set, go. We'll see you guys in 600 to 1,000 miles. Whichever team gets their first wins. And it's all non-motorized transportation, like kayaking, mountain biking, whitewater rafting, mountaineering, and the clock never stops. So if you sleep and when you sleep is all part of your team's strategy. So the winning teams will get like an hour and a half of sleep every 24 hours and be racing the rest of the time. But as if the physical part isn't hard enough, here's the real kicker. Everyone on the team has to stay together within 50 yards of each other from start to finish. I mean, there's not that many people in our own families you wanna spend that kind of quality time with, right? And if one person on your team quits, your entire team is disqualified. So based on the rules of this crazy sport and the fact that we couldn't say that we were a success in this all of our teammates, and in your case, your clients and their families also cross the finish line with you, which sounds very familiar to every business owner out there. Now, as you can imagine, the most important thing we learned out there had very little to do with sports. What we learned is that the secret to success is to play less as an individual and more as a team. As a coach, as a leader, you play not your 11 best, but your best 11. In other words, a lot of the magic really happens for us in terms of our results. When we inspire individual superstar team members to also be great teammates. So do any of you want to be an adventure racer when you grow up now after that charming description? <laughs> no, of course not. You're all too smart for that. And you're running amazing agencies, you know, doing great things for the world. But guess what? According to Fast Company Magazine, who actually studied our team to see what they could learn from us and apply to fast moving companies like your agency, every very successful person in a fast moving company like you, you're in an adventure race every single day of your lives. Because check this out. Tell me if this isn't your life. This is especially your life. <laughs> you all have small teams of men and women who are trying to make it through a seemingly endless series of checkpoints in pursuit of what seems like an impossible goal, working against extreme time pressures in constantly changing conditions and with the goal of doing it among the best of the best in the world. Yeah, hi adventure racers. <laughs> right, so how do we as leaders create those best 11 teams? that adapt, overcome, and win as one in the face of challenge and change. Well, I'm gonna share a few essential elements of world-class performance with you guys today. And the first essential element is that all truly world-class leaders have pure guts and courage. But where does that courage come from? Well, one of three places, you can either be born with it, you can build it, or you can borrow it. <laughs> Let's take a look at all, all three, right? Great leaders possess a core belief they're born with that belief that they were meant to be successful. But sometimes that belief runs thin and we have to build our courage. How do we build it? 
Well, a lot of our courage comes from really genuinely challenging ourselves, doing things that we never imagined we would do. And every time we really challenge ourselves, we earn a brick for our confidence wall. And it's our job to take all those bricks that we've earned over our lifetime and build our confidence wall as high as humanly possible, because that's where a lot of our resilience comes from. When we hit those tough times, we know we've been there and done that. We've done something even crazier, something even harder. And that's from building our confidence wall our entire lives. And how do we borrow our courage? Well, we borrow our courage from having a higher sense of purpose, right? You want to do well financially, but you also want to do something good, which is something you get to do every single day, genuinely and deeply caring for people when they need it the most, giving their families peace of mind. Like that gives us a lot of courage and bravery when we know we're doing something good for the world. And also surrounding ourselves by, with people who truly and deeply believe in us because we can borrow our courage from them, right? When someone truly believes in us really far beyond reason, we hang on to that, right? Until we've built our own courage. Now let's talk about guts. How do we demonstrate it? How do we inspire it? Well, there's a couple different kinds of guts in my opinion. Certainly there's the shattering the norm, doing something that's never been done, that crazy out of the box stuff. But there's another more important in my opinion kind of guts. And that is those little things that we do every single day, right? To care for people, to build our businesses, the small things that we do when no one's really watching, right? So I say courage and guts is actually an acronym for going the distance, quietly persevering, unwavering in your patience and faith, but then also taking those calculated risks and shattering the norm. But I'll tell you one thing we learned for sure about courage in these crazy adventure races. Courage really starts when the fun stops. Or as one of my teammates very eloquently put it, hey guys, we're not gonna find out how Captain Courageous we are until the race starts sucking, right? Everybody starts strong. Real success comes to those with the courage and the guts to be at the finish line. So, let's so now you guys have all kinds of adventure races ahead for you, right? Woohoo! So let's celebrate that adventure racing style, you guys. So what happens at the start line of our races, and it happens totally naturally and organically, it's really cool. After the race director says, five, four, three, two, one, go, as everyone is running or walking off the start line, everybody, regardless of what team they're on, starts turning to each other. And everyone starts shaking each other's hands, high-fiving each other, and doing the bump and the fist bump and diving at each other and hugging each other. And it's kind of a neat symbolic gesture that says, you may not necessarily be walking side by side with me in this race, like just like you guys, right? <laughs> You're in kitchens and man caves and she sheds all over the world. You know, but if someone on the same crazy journey, the same finish line every day, you're with each other in spirit and you got each other's back and you got a tow line for each other and you would carry each other if you needed to, right? So we'll do this just because it's fun. I'll be the race director. I'll do a final toast to you guys. And then I'll count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and turn on all of your computers so you can see each other, gallery view. And I want you guys to do an incredible happy dance with each other, air high five, do the bump, do the fist bump, whatever it is you wanna do as you're leaving the start line of this crazy journey with your teammates, all right? So hold on, starts with me. Oh, I can see you all now, yay. All right, so here's to you guys, the world champion adventure races of Team Well Sky. May you always have such crazy, huge, audacious goals you can never accomplish them alone. And may be the kind of amazing leader that inspires everyone around you to grab a tow line or carry each other every step of the way. You guys ready to race? All right, let's do this. I'll count from five. Five, four, three, two, one, go! <laughs>